and welcome to this handy Top Gear chart which features all the cars currently made by TVR. You've got the T350C, T350T, T440R, Typhon, Tuscan and Tamora. And I've no idea which one is which. They're all exactly the same. They are! They're identical, they're all plastic shouty things. However, I was driving a new type of TBR the other day and I thought, this feels a little bit different. So, I brought it down to our track to see what's what. Like all TBRs, this new Sagaris has insane styling. It appears to have been designed by a lunatic and then hit with an axe. And like all TVRs, you can't just jump in it and go for a drive. I mean, look at this for a starting procedure. It's like firing up the Starship Enterprise. Those are the dilithium crystals being warmed. And would you like to guess where the door handle is? Nope, you're quite wrong. It's that little button there, and the radio is completely unfathomable, and the ashtray is inaccessible, and according to the speedometer, the top speed is 20. <laughs> oh, no, it isn't. It's got a four-litre engine under the bonnet, which produces 400 brake horsepower. And it's got a glass fibre body, which weighs about two ounces. So, like all TVRs, it goes like steam. 0 to 60 is dealt with in a staggering 3.8 seconds. And flat out, you'll be moving at three miles a minute. That's 180 miles an hour. The whole car is tingling and vibrating. It feels like the engine is trying to escape. There really is a lot of power, especially when you remember that this car costs less than £50,000. Mind you, you don't get much in the way of luxury, or toys, or safety equipment. There's no traction control, and there are no anti-lock brakes. There's no airbag either. TVR's argument has always been, well, don't crash then. They never have been particularly big on the nanny state when I said to one of their guys the other day, you know there's a Europe-wide agreement now that all new cars will have uh, anti-lock brakes, and he went, oh, we, uh, we didn't get that memo. So, like all TVRs, the Sagaris is a devastatingly fast, loud, brutal and relatively cheap poke in the eye for Britain's health and safety executive. And like all TVRs, it smells of glue and the bits of the body are coming off. Look! Look at the bonnet! The engine really is trying to escape. So what makes it different? Why have I brought it here? Oh, well! Take these slashers as an example. On the prototype Sagaris, they were vents, there were holes in them. But they found that mud and stones were being flicked off the tyre, through the holes and into the windscreen. Now, in the past, TVR would have gone, oh dear, that's terrible, and then put it on sale anyway. But now they're owned by a very wealthy Russian business boy. He took the car back to the drawing board and filled them in. It means they're thinking about customers which is nice. In the olden days, I always got the impression that TVR built a car, put it on sale, and then found out how it handled. Usually, when one of their customers wrote to the factory complaining about how dead he was. With this one, though, they employed the guy that set up the Noble, which is probably the best handling car in the world. And it shows. It's been given surprisingly heavy springs and a much wider track than is usual. And the results are sensational. <laughs> owning a TVR in the past was like owning a bear. But it was great until it pulled your 
head off, which it would. One day, it would pull your head off. This one, though. This is... Oh! This is excellent. Heel and toe, there's a bit of understeer, and then a little bit of oversteer on the way. Oh. oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! TVR, you've made a decent, proper handling car! Oh, 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 oh. oh yes! Wonders will never cease! ever driven in the last 20 years has been terrifying. What makes this one so special is that it isn't. I think if you had £50,000 to spend on a car, you wouldn't buy this because you're a coward. You'd have that Mercedes SLK 55 we had on a couple of weeks ago. You're would right. You I would. I would yep. do that for a very simple reason. Because the Mercedes is Larry when you want it to be, but then when you just want to get home at night, yep. then it settles down and it's becomes a, a, car. a normal yes. car. This is always a clown car, with its big shoes and its yes. spinning bow tie and smell this flower, go on. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, though, two things about it. One is it's a hatchback and surprisingly comfortable. And the second thing is, I reckon it will be unbelievably fast round our track. So do I. Uh, now, to find out, obviously, we have to hand it over to our tame racing driver. Some say that he lives in a tree and that his sweat can be used to clean precious metals. <laughs> All we know is that he's called the Stig. <laughs> OK, away he goes. And look at those stupid sideways exhausts there. This car really does think it's bonkers, but can it do a bonkers lap? First corner, drifting nicely through there and really quite sideways on the way out. Stig still into his prog rock. Emerson Lake and Palmer this week. Chicago looking a lot neater there. Yeah, he's kept the tail in check, but now it's the real test. It's the hammerhead. A bit hairy under the braking. He's got it very sideways now. This really is a raw meat car, which, funnily enough, is Stig's favourite food. Coming up to the follow through. Will he lift? Will he? Not even slightly. This is going to be a fast lap. Two more corners to go. Should say this car rides incredibly well, which is useful if the stick's going to do that. OK, round Gambon, very sideways, and across the line. Yes! Yeah. Anybody want to hazard a guess? You want to hazard a guess? How quick, do you reckon? 124. 124? So this sort of area here. You're exactly right, it's 124.6. And that... <laughs> that is the fastest... That's the fastest kind of normal car, sub-supercar. It's faster Look. than a 575, <laughs> it's faster than an Evo FQ. It's just below the Koenigseggs and the Zondas and so on. That is really, really quick car. I don't think even the Mercedes 55 would keep up with that.